Welcome everybody to another daily vlog. A daily vlog that happens sometimes. Sometimes from Atlanta, Georgia. I don't know what I'm going to be able to vlog today, but I'm going to do something. I'm not out and about and I'm not doing a five hour unboxing. I, I apologize for that. Just, I wanted to show off this watch. It's, it's actually really nice. I've already paid for something with it. I, actually, I bought this right here. I bought, I bought myself a sweet tea and it wasn't an NFC cash register. It was a normal credit card slide register. And I just bump, paid, gone. No phone, no wallet, no cash, no credit card. It was so awesome. I could just walk around with this all day and not have to worry about anything. I don't even, I mean, I wish, I heard rumors back in the day that they were gonna do something like that with glass, but it never happened. But it would have been great just to look at the cash register and go, whoop, you're paid. Didn't happen. So what's going on now is I am, like I said, in Atlanta, just getting unloaded, kicking back, and I have another load that's preloaded going right back to Florida. I, I get to go right back to Florida for tomorrow afternoon. Not that many miles, which kind of concerns me a little bit. But that it, I can deal with it. I can deal with it. So what I'm planning on doing now, check this out. I, I, I don't know what, tell me what you guys think about this. I have my Osmo mount sitting here on my front windshield. And I was thinking about, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm thinking, which I know is dangerous. I know me thinking is a dangerous concept. I, I normally don't think when I do things. I just do it. But what I'm thinking is uh, trying to come up with things to do with, with this, with this right here. So in my infinite wisdom of an, as an old man, I don't know if this is going to work. I, I, I just don't know. I'm thinking, can I screw this on? And I can. I can't, I can't. Can. Would you look at that? It's a 360 degree camera mounted right here in my window. Hmm. The possibilities. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this yet. I know I've seen videos like on YouTube and stuff that were 360. I, I mean, I've shot some riding on my Segway and when I go to put my VR headset on, it gives me motion sickness because of the movement. These cameras are pretty much useless on moving device, if you're moving. I mean, they work great, but if you're trying to have people watch them without throwing up, it's probably best not to move and just have it mounted on a tripod. But I am curious if driving in a vehicle with the open space of the road and the trees and mountains and stuff like that, if that motion sickness that you would get wearing a VR headset disappears. I, I don't know. I'm trying to find I'm trying to find a use case for this device. And I'm not quite sure what it is yet. But this is the first attempt. Turn the wind down. I don't need the AC on high. It's only 83 degrees. So I just went ahead, did a one and a half minute test trial, added it, you know, connected that to my, the application, the Samsung application, which was a lot easier than dealing with the watch setup. 45 minutes to set up my watch. This here took about 30 seconds. So I, I, I it connected real fast. You could do everything from your phone, live preview screen, hit record. You could even go live on YouTube Live with this camera in 360, which might be something fun to try in the future. But right now, the video I just created, the quick little one minute clip is uploading here. I'm gonna let it process real fast and I'm gonna post it on YouTube to see how it works. I might even just post it on Facebook and Google Plus also to see what it would be like, you know, not on YouTube, to see the compression and everything else and have the clarity well, I, don't, I don't know. I'm excited. It's at 93% right now, so it's almost done. And I'm just going to upload it, so you guys will probably see that before you see this. 
All right, so I got that all done, and I figured, I've, I've been sitting here for like an hour. I should have already been down the road, picking up my next load, heading back to Florida, but I'm moving. They just started unloading me, so this could take about another 30 minutes, so I figured, why not fire up the podcast again? It's been, it's been a few months since I did my podcast. I used to do it like once a week. I put it off for like five months. I went to the Google Play Music application on my devices and iTunes, and I realized, wow, look at the dates. It's been a long time since I did a podcast. So I broke out my microphones, started doing everything, got one up. I'm putting equipment away right now, and it should be up in Google Play Music here very, very soon. But I didn't do it like I normally do. I did no musical introduction, didn't do any commercials, and didn't do the stuff that I normally did on all my old projects, on my old podcasts, not projects. Well, they were projects, but they were podcasts. Just made it kind of quick and let everybody know, hey, I'm going to try and do that once a week. Not only my YouTube videos like this one, but also kind of get back into the podcasting thing my, my my issue was with podcasting in the past my recording equipment all got messed up and broke and everything else now that I have my shotgun mic for my Osmo I can plug that mic in to my devices and get better sound quality that that, that was the plan anyway I don't know how well it worked so today's podcast was kind of a test and I just kind of wrote down a few things on my whiteboard to talk about basically just devices and stuff stuff that you guys already see you don't you don't need to listen to the podcast it's not good it's not good but it is uploaded and i'm going to go ahead and share it on social media hopefully people will start kind of gravitating towards it a little bit and what my my goal is sometimes during a live broadcast like if i'm doing youtube live i can record a podcast at the same time so you could either watch it or listen to it i i that's something I'm working out in my head. I, I don't have much time to do everything, so if I multitask like that and do two things at once, it could work. Well, I drove a little bit. It's still sunny. Look at that sun. It just blows you out. Getting ready to make a little bit of lunch, make some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Got some great preserves, some homemade cherry preserves to put on this excited to eat it got some extremely heavy almost gluten-free I don't know if it's almost gluten-free or not but if you know have you ever noticed if you get healthy bread like this one here this is called Mike's or something like that Mike's bread Mike it's it's Mike's bread or is it Mike could be Dave Dave Dave's bread totally different person but if you notice, if, when you try and get the healthier breads, just one slice is so heavy. It, it weighs it weighs more than my cell phone, which brings me to a quick question. I've been I've I've had every phone carrier out there. At the moment, I have three SIM cards from three different carriers: Sprint, T-Mobile, and now because of this phone, the Pixel. This was a Verizon phone. I, I didn't want to order from Google, so I, I went into the Verizon store to pick it up, swearing that I would never have service from Verizon. I'm a shadow, aren't I? Does that help? Probably. The sun's just too bright. What if I touch my face? Yeah, that, that doesn't help me either. That's okay. You don't need to see me. But uh, I went in there. I just wanted to pay cash for the phone, but Verizon won't let you pay cash for a phone and walk out the store with it. You have to sign a contract, which is odd. How come I can't just walk into the store and say, you know what, I want that phone. Here's 600 bucks, here's 700 bucks. Give me the phone. And because this phone comes pre-installed, no more SIM card. You don't need a SIM card on a Google Pixel. Project Fi is built right in, so you don't have to put a SIM card in. I didn't want to, I just wanted to stick with Project Fi. But Verizon said, no, 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 you have to have our service. You have to sign a two-year agreement. Oh, come on, man. I just want to pay, pay cash for the phone. That being said, they said, I can pay cash for the phone, but I have to have their service for at least 30 days, pay the phone off, 
and then I can quit their service. So that's what I'm gonna do. But my question is, on all my other providers like Sprint, T-Mobile and stuff, if you press like star three or something like that, it'll redirect you to a website or either contact you with uh, an automated voice thing where you can pay your bill or whatever. Does Verizon have that? And what, what do I press? How do I get to my, like, how do I know? Will they notify me when my bill is due so I could just pay the phone off that day? Will they say, okay, well, your your bill's coming due. You have 14 days to pay it or something like that. How do I get notified of that? I, I've been with the same carriers for 13 years. I think I've had Sprint for about 13 years. Have three devices on them. Have two devices on T-Mobile. Had one uh, a Windows device on AT&T. Never had Verizon because I always thought they were a ripoff. I still believe they're a ripoff. Uh, that's why I want to. I don't want to keep them. I definitely don't want to keep them. But how how do I know when 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 do I get that? When do I get? Do they send you an email? Do they send? Do you get a, a text message notification that your bill's ready and you can click a link and pay it or pay by phone or how how does it work? I don't know. Done with lunch. Drove on up a little ways. I didn't show you guys eating lunch, and I didn't show you guys me getting unloaded. And I just drove. Today's a work day. Today's, I'm done with my Disney days, done with everything like that. All my fun stuff, I'm pretty much done with for at least a week before I hop on an airplane. I'm getting on an airplane. And I just woke up. It's kind of a daily vlog, multi-day vlog. Because I shot so much Disney footage, and I've been uploading that periodically, that... It, it, it affords me a little bit of time to try and come up with content, even though I haven't yet. But look at that. Would you look at that thing? I'm going to do a, a video probably tomorrow live about some of the products like the camera, the 360 camera, and probably this watch. And rather than first impressions, I'll be able to tell you guys, should you go out and buy one? Is it for you? I love this band. The band, the band is comfortable. But I'll probably do like a. I already did the unboxing and the first impressions. I'm gonna tell you guys what it's actually like to wear and use out in the real world. And it's surprising me. I, I don't wear watches anymore. I mean, I haven't wore this watch probably in six months. So I'm. I'm this here could bring me back to wearing watches on a daily basis. I already feel naked without it. But, real fast, you'll notice at the end of the videos, I, I figured something out. You can put, in the top corner up here, you could put a video that you select that you, that you think somebody might like to watch. And you can put it there, and then you, you can put other things, like I put my Patreon thing over here. So you can click on that, go to my Patreon, click on this, and go to another video that, that may correspond with it. And I just figured out you could do that. I, I never knew you, I never knew how to do it. I'm still, I think I'm like 600 videos on this channel. I don't, I've never really delved deep into the settings on YouTube and, and the stuff you could do. And so I'm still learning, still learning. Anyway, like I said, I just woke up. I'm getting loaded. In Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, you see me in Florida. Today I'm in Atlanta, going to North Carolina. On the 16th, I'm hopping on an airplane. So, from now until the 16th, I don't know what they're going to be doing. I'm kind of hoping that when I'm done in North Carolina, I have to go to Ohio or Minnesota or somewhere because that'll put me back through where the Mothman is, where this guy is. And if they give me enough time, like an extra day, to get to where I need to go, I'm going to try and stay in that hotel. I'm going to try and stay in that haunted hotel, the Lowe's, that 1909 hotel that they got in town. I'm going to do it eventually, but this possibly could be the trip that does it. This could be the trip. I'm, I'm really excited about it. And I just found out something else. If you go through town and exit Point Pleasant, there's some old, what do you call them, igloos? an old military installation where they used to keep bombs and explosives and stuff back during World War I and stuff and World War II. So if the Nazis flew over, they wouldn't uh, see our ammunition. It's like an ammunition depot. 
supposedly, it, it, that's abandoned, by the way. And supposedly, that's the home of the Mothman. That's where the Mothman resides. So I, I would really like, I, I know it's kind of out of ways a little bit. So anytime I'm coming through there, if I start posting stuff, and if any of you guys live near Point Pleasant and want to take me out to the to where the Mothman supposedly lives, that would be great. Or at least contact me and tell me how far out of town it is. Is it a Segways ride out? So, because if so, I could just ride my Segway to it, but it looks like it's probably more than a couple miles out of town. And they don't have Uber in Point Pleasant. They don't. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get up, have some drinky drink, get ready to mosey on, and I'll take you guys to South Carolina, or North Carolina. And I'm thinking about shooting a daily vlog in 360 sometime today. That'll be posted later. Anyway, let me have my drink. While I'm still waiting here to get loaded and start heading to North Carolina, I figured, why not use this little device right here? And yes, it, it is in airplane mode, unlike that, which should be in airplane mode. See what I'm talking about? Redundancy. I'm getting messages on that device, that device, that device, and this device. My Google Glass is over there. It's probably getting the notifications too. All on the same devices I, I'm, all the same message on all my devices I don't need that I need to actually sit down go through all the settings and make sure certain notifications come here there 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 everywhere I need to do that and make because my life is being made simple now with all this stuff but it gets frustrating when you get all these notifications and on every single device but that being said, so I use that device right now. I shot a quick seven minute, 360 degree daily vlog, a daily vlog in 360, just testing it out. I wanted to see what the sound quality is like, the video quality is like. I've done two videos, but I was driving down the road and it was kind of, I, I, I don't know. It just, I want to see what it's like when you're sitting still, engine off, no engine noise coming through the microphone and no vibration and stuff like that. Because it's not on a gimbal, it's just on a suction cup. I could probably rig this up to one of my gimbals, I'm assuming. I just haven't figured it out yet on how to do that and keep it steady. So I'm wondering what the image stabilization's like. There's a lot of stuff I want to figure out with this camera. Because I am flying on an airplane. Not with, not like this. I'm, I'm getting on an airplane on the 16th in Orlando and flying off somewhere spectacular and uh, I might want to use that on the airplane I'm thinking that, I don't know I'm still trying to come up with the use case scenario for that device still trying getting loaded here in Atlanta took a good 20 hours but I'm finally done so peaceful and relaxing in that parking lot getting loaded here on the road it's a different story It's a South Carolina rest area. I, at the moment, am logging off duty. Off duty, there you go, computer. There you go. Anytime now. Thank you. There's a project I need to help on and get going. I, I, I started it last week, but I accidentally deleted all my footage. I was gonna use my big Osmo with the microphone and pull out the big rig. But I don't necessarily think this project needs that type of equipment. I think I could do it with this and my drone. So I'll let you guys know what the project is later. It's not for me. It's for somebody else. And I am going to be part of a class, I guess, at the University of Washington or Washington State or something. I don't know. They're putting something together and they want me to shoot a, a few videos. And so I figured... Why not make a second attempt of what I tried to do two days ago in Florida, maybe do it here in South Carolina. So I'm going to prep just a little bit, get my drone and stuff, and I'll take you guys along with me. I won't, I won't show you what I'm recording, but I'll show you where I'm recording it. Let, let me get my stuff. My Osmo, this, and 
my controller is about wow that darkened up really fast is about all i need let's head on out doesn't this look peaceful it's gonna look more peaceful when i find a trail that goes down this hill that's what i'm looking for because there's a gigantic lake right on the other side of those trees and i figured what better place to do this project down i mean down by the water right there's majestic places like mountains and oceans and lakefronts. Since I'm not by any mountains or oceans, the lakefront's gonna have to do. Like, looks like I'm gonna have to venture off into tick country. Hopefully there is no ticks down here. This isn't a very good trail. And it's kind of wet and I'm in flip-flops probably need to start wearing my tennis shoes this time of year especially up north down at home in Florida it's always flip-flop weather but come up north here a little dangerous but look at that lake not only for doing a project for a friend but also, this is probably going to be a great place to get some cool aerial footage with this little spark that I'm still kind of getting used to. It's time now to traverse this rough hill and some flip-flops and get back to my truck if I can find the trail. I'm definitely not going to go up this way. Not at all. Wow, Bluetooth is not working again. Strange. Is this the trail? It might be, I don't, kind of steep. I think this, you really can't find the trail. There's so many leaves on the ground, you don't know where the trail is. I mean, I don't know where the trail is. Wait, is that it? I think it is, I think it is. We made it back to civilization. All right, everybody, I'm gonna go ahead, sign off. Hope you guys like this crap. Because that's all today's video is, is poop. Not the best video in the world. Let me know if you guys watch my 360 video. It's uploaded. It's in, it's in private right now. I'm waiting. Wow. That was some exercise. I couldn't take my Segway down there. But uh, let me know if you watch that 360 video. Uh, it should be up tomorrow. And uh, let me know what you think. What can I do with that 360 degree camera? I don't know if this is strong enough to pick it up, but I was thinking to hook some strings to this, dangle the 360 camera down below it, and get some aerial 360 video. I don't know. Wow. I'm beat. All right, everybody. Until the next one, I love you all. Peace.